In my opinion, there is a pretty big and common problem in robotics, but I might have a solution for that. If you have already built your first robot, you probably used a chassis like this one or a similar one, and these are great if you just want to start. Pretty inexpensive, easy to buy all over the world, perfect for beginners. But there is a problem, what if you want to add more things to your chassis, like an ultrasonic sensor, a relay, a display, a PCB, whatever. Of course, sometimes the holes will match and you will be able to attach it, but sometimes you will need a special holder. Sometimes you can buy stuff like this, it is included in the kit, you can 3D print it, but most likely it will be designed only for this kind of chassis and you cannot use the holders from this one with this one. Or you want to replace the motors with something of higher quality? Of course it's all doable, but requires some serious DIYing to do it right. The problem grows exponentially as you add more stuff to your robot and your robots get bigger. Another problem is that if you want to move from smaller robots to bigger robots, you don't really have a lot of options to buy a big chassis. Most of them are crazy expensive and there is not really a lot of options in the budget-friendly range. So you have to make it on your own and designing it from scratch, thinking about everything from the beginning is not really an easy task and projects changed pretty often. So if you started with the dev camera on your robot and then you want to add a LiDAR, you most likely will have to redesign and recreate some of the parts. But does it really make sense? For every new project and new iteration of each project, you will most likely change some stuff like the placement of components or the overall shape of the robot. And you will try to reuse as many components as you can that you had previously or from previous projects, but that most likely won't work always because if the holes match up with this kind of chassis, they won't with this or this one. So now, what if we standardize the holes? The idea was born as I moved from simple robots to bigger robots, and it was pretty simple. I just wanted to design a plate, and it doesn't really matter what is the shape of the plate or the dimensions of the plate. The hole starts at the very center of the plate, and then it is extended 20 millimeters in each direction, so you have this grid of holes that you can use to attach different holders. The holders uh, have holes that matches this grid, so you can always attach it anywhere you want, and then you have holders for Raspberry Pi, for Arduino, for motors, for breadboards. You have connectors that connect the plates of the robot so that you can create multiple floors for your robot. You can have holders for dev cameras, lidars, power banks, whatever you want. And the best part is you can just reuse the components. So if I'm done with this project, it is not going to collect dust in the corner. I can just grab whatever I want and I can attach, for example, the Raspberry Pi with the holder to this robot without thinking about it, without designing anything in CAD. And now I will try to show you how you can design your own ORP plate in about 20 seconds. So you start by sketching a 3.5mm hole in the center, then with rectangular pattern you are extending this hole every 20mm in each direction, as many times as you need, and then you draw the shape of your plate, it can be a circle, rectangle, whatever you want, and you extrude everything except the partial holes, that's it, then you add connectors, you copy the plate, add it below the connectors and you can add cutouts for your wheels. And then you design holders that work with the holes on the plate and that's everything about RP. Design rules are quite simple and you can find more info about them on openroboticplatform.com and this website is another very important part of this project. I started working on it a few months ago and my friend helped me a lot. He made sure that the website is secure, he corrected a lot of my mistakes because I'm not the best programmer and finally, the website is ready. Previously, it was just a static website that displayed some core concepts behind ORP, Open Robotic Platform, but right now it is a proper service where you can create your own account, you have a library of parts, you can browse through them, you can sort them, you can download the files for each part, and of course you can upload your own parts too. If you are interested in more technical information about the website, you can find all of that on GitHub because the repository is public. As the name suggests, the project Open Robotic Platform is open source, so all the files you can find in the library are licensed under MIT license, you can use them for any kind of project you want, and I would be really happy if you would like to contribute some of your parts to Open Robotic Platform. Just go to the design rules, read them, design some stuff for your project, and share them with others. That's the concept behind the project. Let's take a look at some projects built according to ORP design rules. Let's start with this one, because this is the very first ORP chassis that I used to test the Cube Mars motors. Back then the chassis was just two levels high and the similar chassis was used 
test the LiDAR robot with an Arduino. That was a very nice project and a very successful video. I will leave all the interesting links to my videos in the description if you are interested. And then the chassis was extended to something that you can see right here. I added the depth camera. I'm also working on adding the LiDAR. There is a place for NVIDIA Jetson Nano that I used in one of my previous videos. The plan for the future is to add ROS to this robot and create some fun projects. And then there is Mini Mars Rover, a project that I really liked. Unfortunately, the arm is broken, but yes, it is also compatible. You can easily attach it to the ORP plate. So is the FPV camera mount. And for example, the PCB that was custom made for this project it also has the proper holes with the 20 mm spacing. So you can just easily, without any holder, attach it directly to the plate. And here is still not finished very small chassis that I made just to show you that ORP chassis does not have to be really big. This one is small and it is completely 3D printed. The connectors, plates, holders, wheels and holders for the motors, everything is 3D printed. And that is just a very nice example of how you can build an inexpensive chassis to experiment now, but also use parts from this chassis later in your projects. Right now, all the projects built with RP are my own projects, but I would really like to see you using that at home, at school, at university. And if you do so, please send me pictures at nikodem at industry.cc. I would really like to see that and you can also be featured on the Open Robotic Platform website. I spend a lot of my time to create the website, to work on all of the parts, to create the design rules. And I hope the project will be successful. I hope you will like it and you will use it in your projects. If you would like to support the project and contribute some parts, that would be super cool and you can just simply create an account and upload them to the website. What I would like this project to achieve? Well, I would like to see people actually using these parts for their own robots, whether for like hobby use just at home or educational purposes at schools and universities. I think it might be a really cool and great addition to parts you already have at your university or class and it might be very easy to assemble the robots and plenty of fun for students. I am aware that this is not a perfect solution and in some cases you really need this custom-made perfect solution for your application that you have to design from scratch. And of course that is true, but for any kind of research application where you are still not sure uh, how the final robot will look like and you are experimenting with different parts, this might be the very good option. If you know anyone that works on a robotic project that is interested in robotics in general, send them a link to Open Robotic Platform, send them a link to this video. I would really appreciate that and it will help a lot to kickstart this project. And that's it for a very brief introduction to the Open Robotic Platform. I have a lot of footage from building this chassis, so if you are interested, I can make a video just about how I build that, how I use the ORP concept to develop that and use that in my robotic project. So that's it. The link to the Open Robotic Platform is in the description. Don't forget to share it with friends. Thank you very much for watching and happy making. Bye.